Hi guys, I'm Angie and welcome to my home. I'm going to give you a little tour and then after this, I'm going to do a Q&A with the IKEA fam. So come and ask your questions. All right, let's get started. First room I'd like to show you is the kitchen. This is where I do spend a lot of time. I am a celiac, so I have to cook a lot of my own food. Don't have a lot of space, but I don't feel like you need a lot of space to create some gluten-free magic. So this is my little kitchen area, my little appliances, my new best friend that I really need to break away from because we spend way too much time together. But I will work on that. So if you come down the hallway, you'll see my glorious living room. It's got the lovely white and wood, which I'm absolutely mad for because then it's kind of let me go wild with how I want to decorate, but keeping it nice and matchy match which I've never really done before so I've stuck with the whole you know wood white vibe with my furniture too unfortunately my landlord won't let me get a puppy and being a massive rescue dog lover that breaks my heart so I've taken up plants and by the looks of it I'm not very good at it but practice makes perfect I'm hoping to deck out this whole place with plants once I stop killing them. This little area is my workout area, but I'm not doing a lot of working out at the moment. The thought is there, bulk yoga mats, weights. I'll, I'll get back to it. I will. I'm getting there. This is another one of my little mates that I'm trying, okay? I'm, I'm tr I am trying. And this is my delicious view. I spend a lot of time out here, having a cheeky wine with my boyfriend or my housemate, looking at all the boats I can't afford and the dogs I can't have, have a cheeky cup of tea, breathe in Mother Nature. It's a really beautiful view. I'm very blessed. So I'm going to take you to my favorite room in the entire house. Are you ready for it? One, two, three. It's my bedroom. It's my Ikea haven. I am absolutely smitten with this space. I spend so much time in my bedroom. So to have a room that's just decked out with delicious little blankets, linen that actually matches, I'm like a huge pillow freak. I'm mad for them and everything just, it's so me. I, I can't take credit for it. I didn't do it, but I love it. This is my little meditation section I try to do some writing here some reading just have some Angie time you know very pretty I got my big glorious mirror that also matches I just love that everything I, I know I use the word match a lot but I've never had matching stuff so I'm just mad for it and this this is my wardrobe never had a good one of these before check out this bad boy <gasps> ta-da it's got light. It's so pretty. It's like my clothes are on display. I've got my little jewelry section that I can keep things nice and neat, which I'm normally not very good at. But I've gotten pretty good with this setup. Got a little area for my little collectible headburn. More storage space up here if you want to put in your jammies and mickeys and things you don't want people to see. And then if you go over here, it just keeps, it's the gift that keeps on giving, really. Yay, more storage up here. Got me jumpers, my drawers. I can put my shoes down here. A little place to store my toilet paper because that's like solid gold these days. And there's actually more storage underneath because I do have a lot of things. This is one of my favorite things. I've never seen something like this before. You can just pop your iPhone on it and it charges so you don't even need to have a charger. Nothing is out of place in this delicious room. <gasps> so, yes, this is my favorite space. It's my bedroom. I do spend a lot of time here, so I'm so happy that I can just be completely zen Angie. I've got another room I'm going to show you. It's also pretty cute. Not as cute as my bedroom. It's a half kind of storage setup, half makeup area. I'm very impressed with how neat I am in this beautiful apartment. Look, this is where I try to make myself pretty. I've got this delicious mirror that has like three different types of lighting. Would you look at that? 
So that's my place. Thank you for joining me. I'm going to go get ready for a Q&A. So if you have any questions, come have a chat and I'll be happy to answer them for you. I'll see you soon. Wow, Angie, what a beautiful home you have. Thank you so, so much for sharing with us today. We really appreciate your time. Now, I'd love to ask you a few questions and have a quick chat. Hey, Angie, are you comfortable and ready? I am so ready. Hello. Hi, Angie. I forgot to introduce myself. I'm Tabitha from IKEA. <laughs> this is going to be. Hi, Tabitha. Nice, nice oh. to meet you. Thank you for having a little sticky beak at my beautiful place. Oh, it is beautiful. So now that we're on the topic of home and you've just shared your beautiful home with us, I'd love to know what does home mean for you and how has it evolved over time? I have been really big on home is where your heart is. So I've kind of lived all over the place. I was house sitting for a year. I lived in the South African jungle for a while last year. Then I lived in a mansion where I dated bolt dudes. So I always say home is where your heart is, but I've never had a really beautiful space. This is the first time I've been able to have my own little apartment and set it up. So it's really important for me to feel safe because I'm always on the go. I'm always, you know, here, there and everywhere. So to have this space and do it all myself, well, not all myself. I've had a little bit of help. Um, yeah, it feels nice. It feels different. It's good. Oh, I love that. And your view. I mean, that's just beautiful. That's definitely going to help make you love your home even more. <laughs> I know. I'm very grateful for that view. That was definitely one of the, the selling points for me was just being able to wake up every day and look at it. That beautiful harbour. So I'm pretty stoked with that. Oh, yeah. Beautiful. So you tell me that you are uh, living with a housemate. How are some ways that you've made this space feel yours? So with there was a little bit more of the house that we didn't go down there because, you know, he was in his room and I wasn't going to be like, get out. So there's actually another bedroom and then obviously the bathroom and toilet area. So I've, he's been really great. He's just let me do whatever I want. He's just like, whatever, like do whatever you want with it. So I've kind of decked it out myself. I got all the furniture and had, you know, my, my boyfriend's helped me with a bunch of it, but I wanted to stick to a theme because I've never really had one before. Keeping it neat, not too like hoardery, hoardery because I'm a massive hoarder. All my stuff's just come from Queensland. So that beautiful makeup room is now a mess. So now it's a little bit more Angie because now all my crap's here from, from Sunshine Coast. So it's not as, it's not as, you know, I just had to quickly wheel it back in. So yeah, I don't, it's, yeah, you know, <laughs> still me, but a little bit messy. Oh, I love that. So then how would you describe your style when you were decorating or selecting your furniture pieces for this home? Um, oh, I would say because it's already got the white and the wood, I, I, w I wanted to have more kind of like, I like that kind of hippie bohemian vibe, like the colors, kind of like this mustardy color and um, the creams. So I kind of tried to stick with that and so far so good. But yeah, like I said, my, my stuff, um, I had was hiding it in my housemate's room. So yeah, I'll start putting more Angie stuff around too, but I'm, I don't want it to be too cluttery. I'm really bad with that. <laughs> Oh, we're all human. It's okay. <laughs> we've got to, we've, our ha homes have to be lived in somewhat, right? So then how would you... Exactly. Yeah, and how would you say that your style has evolved over time? Like, you know, say from, I don't know, when you were saying you're living in Queensland and now living in Sydney. When I was living in Queensland, it was my family home. So I just had like all stuff from when I was a teenager. Um... Yeah, and then I was in Brisbane, and that was just uni life. So I was very more like eccentric furniture we would just get from like op shops and things. Um, now it's more grown up. I mean, I have just turned thirty, so I'm trying to keep things matching and grown up. If that's even a style, <laughs> so it's different. I think it's changed. I'm much neater than I was growing up. I was a bit messy. It's mainly like not dirt, just like floor drove. Like I just leave. 
I can just leave my clothes on the floor for days. It's not a, it's not great. <laughs> well, maybe, yeah, those beautiful colours in your shirts are adding to the style and decor of your home. So, you know, it all works, right? Yeah, I'm like <laughs> vibing with my pillows because I'm mad for cushions. So I've kind of like almost matched with my house. That was really unintentional, but it just happened. <laughs> Love that. Hey, so we're spending a lot of time at home at the moment. What has been some mm. ways for you to actually grab some privacy in this home that you share with others? Um, my housemate and I are pretty good. He loves his own space and I love mine. And when we want to get together, we'll hang out in the living room or we'll hang out on the little teeny tiny balcony. Um, just, oh, I, I hang out in my room a lot. So I'm really grateful that I have such a beautiful space and I'll just chill out there, do my work, watch my shows, read my book. It's, it's pretty easy because this apartment's pretty big. I mean, for a a place in Sydney, it is, it's quite big, so I'm, I'm lucky for that. Yeah, beautiful. Hey, so I've got to ask about your, your kitchen and some questions around that. You mentioned that you're celiac. Are there certain ways that you, you know, have to prepare food or store your food that is unique to obviously, you know, um, safely prepare food for yourself? Um... Usually when I live with people, we'll just have all our food together and we'll share. But I got diagnosed pretty late. I didn't realize I was celiac. I thought I was just intolerant. And then it just started getting like so severe. So now I make sure I have my own little cupboard. My house is pretty good. Like, you know, we'll have our different pastas and things. But I always know what's mine. And I read everything. Being a celiac makes you become obsessed with reading all ingredients on every sauce, every herb, every packet. So... I kind of have my little section and then we'll just, you know, have our herbs and stuff together that I know are all gluten free. Oh, that's good. It's nice to have a bit of routine yeah. and yeah, have everything organized it in is. a really good way. <laughs> so it's, it's like a messy organized. It's an Angie messy organized, but it works. Oh, that's all right. As long as it's organized for you, then that's all that matters, right? <laughs> Exactly. Now I can see you've got some beautiful light just pouring all over where you're sitting there and I could see through the film that you had a lot of natural light in your home. How has that sort of played in terms of um, how much you enjoy your spaces throughout your home? Oh, I've been super, super lucky with the natural light. It's all quite open and then the, the, the reflection or whatever you call it from the water, it always makes everything really bright. So it's nice if you ever need to take photos. My boyfriend's mad for like content creating. He's really good at it. So he'll just, you know, we'll be sitting in a certain part of the house and he'll be like, oh my God, we need to take a photo of this. I wouldn't overly notice it, but he's got such an eye for it. So it's a great ha house to take, you know, like a selfie or, you know, if you need to create some content, so it's really good for that. Oh, well, that's very helpful then. <laughs> I can only imagine. <laughs> you don't need to be scouring out looking for some good lighting. It's just everywhere. <laughs> no, I just can do it in my hallway. It's great. <laughs> so you were mentioning that you have this newfound love for plants and collecting plants. Uh, can you share this sort of what what a dream would look like if you could fill your whole home with with plants? Oh my god! So I've got three. I've got one here. I don't know if you can see it. Yeah, you can kind of see it here. There's one in my room, and there's one actually out on the the um, balcony, that one's really dying and I don't know what to do with it. So I thought it needed sunlight and that's just killed it even more. This is very new to me. So I am learning. Like I said, I usually look after dogs and rest assured, I've never killed anything before. This is the plants that happen to be my thing that I kill. So I'm still learning, but once I get better, I would love to have like big hanging ones and just, oh, it's so nice to be around mother nature and I'm just, I'm not very good at keeping Mother Nature nice inside. Maybe I should just stick with looking at the windows, the trees. Yeah. <laughs> well, hey, at least... I don't know if you can become... <laughs> <laughs> you've, you've got a nice green backdrop if all fails anyway. <laughs> I know. I think I should just stick at looking at this instead of having my own. I don't know how you can not be good at looking after plants. It's, I don't know. I'll Google it. <laughs> I'll put it on my list of things to do in isolation. Oh, I love that. I'm sure most of us are trying to do the same. Mm. So I have to ask about this bedroom of yours. It's beautiful. And I would love to know what was the difference between, you know, the before and after you had it done? 
Oh my god, the before was literally just a bed and my suitcases because I was traveling a lot backwards and forwards for work to, in Melbourne. So it was just suitcase suitcases. I had. I don't know if we just when we did the little tour just before. I don't know if we saw the big cupboard, but that big cupboard in the storage makeup room was in that my room, and that's all it was. Just the bed, that big old thing. And the suitcases with clothes on the floor. It was so miserable. And then IKEA came in and just absolutely made it just my little haven. And I love it. And it makes me motivated to keep it clean now. So if there is clothes on the floor, they'll be gone in like an hour instead of a week where they'll just chill out on the floor, on my floor drove. But um, now I'm like, no, everything has to look good. Like the rest of the house will be messy. And I'm like, my room has to be beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> it's motivated me. Oh, that's beautiful. Uh, it is a beautiful space. Now, what are one of those, you know, what's one element in that space then actually that you find is key to um, having a restful sleep or unwinding from the day? Oh, well, obviously my big beautiful bed. I think something that's really important for me is having your bed space. I always make my bed in the morning. It's always been a thing. I could be living in the most random setup, but I make my bed. So therefore, when I get in it at nighttime, it makes me feel, you know, like it's cozy then and it's comfortable. And I put all my little pillows down. I have my salt lamp on. Um, I listen to my meditations and it's just, yeah, it's the best. My little relaxation station. Sounds glorious <laughs> and a beautiful way to yeah. enjoy your bedroom. Tell me about this Pax Maybe. wardrobe. How, like, What were some of the things that you were a must-have you know, with the clothes or the accessories that you own um, in terms of the solution that you ended up having? So I have a lot of stuff. Um, I got lots of clothes and things I just can't part with, even though I don't even wear half of them. I always think I'll keep them for my children and that's Oh, it's absurd, but I've always been like that. So I needed to have heaps of room for my clothes, heaps of storage space. I was just like bonus with having the lights, the little lights that come on when I open the doors. It's just like next level. I feel like my clothes are just living their best life in there. And then I have all little compartments for my jewelry and things. I mean, that was all a bonus too. I just was like storage, 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 and everything else just, yeah, it was just, it was perfect. I have room, well, I will have room for everything now. Amazing. Now that's some serious wardrobe envy. <laughs> so yeah, it's beautiful. One last question before we go. Is there one item in your home that you honestly just can't live without? And what is it and why? Ooh, an item like furniture? Yeah, or? it can be a furniture item. It can be um, something that means the most to you. Ooh, I don't know what would mean the most. I have so much stuff and being a hoarder, I, I like fall in love with everything I have. I'm really bad with parting with anything, but I'd have to say I would be lost without my bed, my bed set up and my laptop. Those two together, it's like a match made in heaven. It's my dream. We're a dream team. Me, my bed, my laptop, dream team. <laughs> <laughs> Love it. Well, thank you so much for sharing your home today. We really appreciate it. It is gorgeous. It's great to hear what motivates you, what, you know, how you explain your style has changed over time and, and especially what home means to you. So thanks again for your time today. And yeah, thanks for the chat. Thank you. Thanks for chatting. See ya. <laughs> See ya. Bye, Angie.